Hey yo, hey yo, welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon. We've... What did we do last time? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, we went and, uh... We went to Isaac's party. We talked to Rowan and we made a flower hat. And then we talked to Valeria and we learned about her polyamorous relationship. Um, I don't think I have anyone available to talk to you yet. So we'll probably have to go back into the dungeon. I don't think there's any dates available at the moment. I should probably use Sunder. But we got new people. I want to see how the laser sword and the scythe work. We got it, we got it, we got it. You know, oh yeah, and Valeria gave us our little hat. We're an artist now. Alright. Let's see. Are they available? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, we'll use Rowan first because he's the closest. I mean, they're, excuse me, they're closest to, um, ranking up. Sorry. Um, so let's go. Which floor? Nine. The deeps. The deeps. That looks like a rough elevator to be in. The acoustics here are strange. Perhaps it is interdimensional. I mean, if you think so. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, we get to test it out. <laughs> Interesting. I like it. I like it. You're so powerful. Ow. Oh, our health is a lot, lot bigger. Oh, oh, I thought uh, you can't walk on that. <laughs> the scythe looks a lot smaller in your hand. <laughs> oh, you still hit pretty hard. Ah. There we go, there we go. Die. Haha! -ha! Feel good! Alright, alright, alright. I didn't mean to go in there. <laughs> Let's continue on. Well, that looks dangerous. Let's go. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about those. I forgot, I forgot. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Be stuck. I guess I can use one of these. Actually, two of those. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, even in the normal attack, it does it. Cool, 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 cool. We're all powerful. Oh. How would you react to a little, uh, deity? Hmm. <clears throat> Rovan crouches and touches their fingertips to the icy thoughtfully. It's midsummer, yet there's a moment to dream of winter. They sit on the ice, exhaling slowly. Your butt's gonna get cold. You can feel the coolness of ice wafting up past your legs. <laughs> it's easier to relax when you're around. That's what I really need right now, I think. You sit in silence together for a few moments watching your breaths cloud the air. Ah oh well, all dreams must end eventually. Would you like to offer a gift? Do we have anything? I don't know if you'd like any of these things. Do you like pizza? Do you like cupcakes? Yeah. I've been wanting... I've been wanting gourmet cupcake. Perhaps your psychic abilities are growing, Cassandra. I'm psychic. You stand up together, finding their hilt in your hand without another word. I didn't know you could actually walk in here. It'd be cool if they added like a little bit of like sliding physics, so you can just be like, whoosh. <laughs> That's asking for a lot. I should have ate before starting recording. I'm so hungry. <laughs> um, which way is the wrong way? Because I want to go that way first. Oh. Die, please. Die, please. You. Oh. Oh. No! God, they hit so hard. Yes, 
Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. We got Technicolor TV happening. Oh, you smacked me on my butt. Huh. Oh. Yes, you're stuck there now. Yes, 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 yes. Be murdered. Be murdered. <laughs> You do like a little get over here. The phone die? I guess they did. I didn't see them die. Oh, so this is the correct way. Alright, some of my dog's freaking out about something. Oh, she's always freaking out about something. We got her a bunch of new toys, and she already broke all of them. <laughs> huh? Oh, do those spikes hurt? Stay there. You turn around, please. <laughs> huh? Oh, I want this. I want this. Yes, I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it. <gasps> a polar. Awesome, 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 awesome. We didn't lose the item. I think I did the challenge room already. So I'm gonna just skip it. And if you fight me, I already fought the boss twice, so... I think that evens out. <laughs> okay. They have an odd numbering systems for the floors. I thought it'd be like base tens, but it's like... Five, nine... <laughs> All right, we maxed out Rowan, so we want to try seven. Laser saber. Ooh. Oh, fancy, 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 fancy. Ah, uh, hi, 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 hi. Ooh. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. <laughs> Get sabered. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I got too cocky. I got too cocky. Oh, I don't have. Oh no! <laughs> oh man. It's getting real hard down here. Oh, I didn't level up. <laughs> Dr. Muffin! Okay, so no messages. Oh, sleepy time. I think they butt dialed us by accident. <laughs> um, oh wait, I want. Oh. <laughs> that was the bird. <laughs> Thought I could use your help. An appraiser is coming to assess my inheritance and. I don't wish to be alone with him. Will you come? Of course. Thank you. I guess that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> All right, let's let's go hang out with Rowan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know if that counts as a date. The mansion's front door does not have a doorbell. Only a raven's-headed door knocker. Uh, gently? The door is cold against your fingers, as you nervously tap it. The door swings open. It seems dark inside. Yellow. <laughs> you hesitantly step inside, but it's so dark that it takes your eyes a moment to adjust. <laughs> a hoarse chuckle rasps from the shadow. Nothing more. Only this and nothing more. It sounds like Crowley. Hush. Hush, Crowley. No jokes right now, please. Please don't mind him. Thank you for coming. The tea is nearly ready. Nothing more. Is this like a Alan Poe reference? You find you're in a sitting room that smells of dusty feathers and moldy fabric. Good day. Welcome. The appraiser will be here soon, but please don't try your usual seduction tactics. I. What are you trying to say? 
He seems both lonely and bitter, which is dangerous. Let us use a light tor touch. Follow my lead. No. Not well, no, but he isn't subtle. Nothing more. He thinks he's the Hierophant, or maybe Justice, but he's just a knight of swords. Nothing more. Oh, nothing more. A knock on the door interrupts you both, which then opens. <laughs> well, hello, lovelies. Wasn't expecting Cassandra as well. You're a sight for sore eyes. Ha! <sighs> hmm. Are you here to bid on the estate items as well? You sip your tea. Delicious, layered, and Rowan meets your eyes with a small, grateful smile. Cassandra is my associate, serving as a witness. That is all. Would you like some tea? I harvested leaves just this morning. No. I'd rather not waste time, no matter how exciting my, uh, my store has to be closed while I'm here, after all. Let's just see the blades and be done with it. Warren brings out a long silk wrap package, and they unwrap to reveal a sword and a sickle. They're family heirlooms from the British side of the family. Well, the sword is in the style of ancient Britain around 2,000 years ago. It's fine workmanship for a replica. I'd give you 300 for it. Roman clears his their throat and speaks almost too quietly to be heard. No. It's not a replica. Ugh. This isn't a 2,000 year old sword, my dear NB. Be reasonable. What's NB? It's the blade that Boudicia wielded when she defeated the Romans and chased them from Wales. Uh. Eric blinks and blinks again. He clears his throat awkwardly, gathering his thoughts. First of all, Boudicia, <laughs> Boudicia? Boudicia? didn't defeat the Romans. They defeated her, sadly. Ugh. Imperialist propaganda. Second of all, you think the blade is more than... F if you think this blade is more than 50 years old, you're dumber than you look. Uh... How dare you. I'm just stating facts. Whether Rowan is trying to deceive me or he has deceived... Been deceived is immaterial. Do you have a certificate? Or some other documentation I can expect? Rowan doesn't respond. Eric snorts and turns his attention to the sickle. Here. There is a bit of family resemblance. Hmm. What's this? Your cousin? God, I wanna just... <laughs> you tell me. Hmm. Well, it's potentially a bit older than the other. Maybe a hundred years or so. What is this crest? You're the expert. Now, now, don't sulk. It ruins your pretty forehead. The crest adds a bit of exotic flavor. Not many collectors of sickles, though. So it'd also be 300. You're... A dick. I see. Hmm. Do we have a deal? You won't get a better offer anywhere. Nevermore. You're so silly, Crowley. Tell your pigeon to let the adults do the negotiating, and I'll increase my offer to 350. Look, if you think being called a pigeon is an insult, you're hopeless. Everyone knows pigeons are the most romantic of birds. You should just go. Yeah, have you played Hot to Full Boyfriend? I personally haven't, but I watched the game Grumps play. <laughs> ah. 400. That's my final offer. Why not reap the benefits of my expertise, hmm? Got that face. I said leave. No. Eric hesitates and looks to you. A flinty defiance in his eyes. Super G. <laughs> uh, get out. Eric deflates and mutters as he heads to the door. Ugh. I make time out of my day, pro bono, and I and do I even get a thank you? Reap what you sow. Rowan shuts the door and Eric on Eric unceremoniously. 
Eric is a horrible person. Oh well, I should have known better than to trust a profane merchant. Besides which, his aura seems to be sickening, as if it were rotting. I would have sold him. I wouldn't have sold him to him even for millions. I was mostly curious. What is the sickle? Do you need money? What will you do? I wish Alice were here to tell me what to do next, but then I wouldn't have this problem. Hmm. Curly pe preens Rowan's hair gently, making a soft clicking sound. <laughs> Thank you for your support today. Ooh. Finale, gravity wells explode to do damage. Ooh. Gravity wells do damage over time to an enemy being affected by them. I like the explosions. You said you wanted to wield me for love before today. You spoke up on my behalf, so... Blah. What am I reading? You spoke up on my behalf, but also let me steer the conversation. I appreciate it. I don't know how to... I've earned your loyalty, but I'm glad I have it. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes! Do you like pizza? <laughs> Thank you. I'll use it well. Goodbye! Bye-bye, Crowley! Crowley, that's a bit abrupt, but yes, I will look forward to the dunge. If you want to wield me. I'll do more than that. Perhaps we can go scythe seeing. Terrible Farewell. pun. <laughs> Thank you. To give credit where is due, it was Crowley's idea. <laughs> Good day then. You head home. Oh, 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 text in the phone. You and Eric have an unhealthy resonance. I would avoid him if I were you. I'm trying. <laughs> and yet his orbit grows tighter. Take care. I try so hard, but it just keeps appearing everywhere. All right. Let's try the dungeon again. It's getting hard. Oh. Be careful, it's dangerous. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna have to go through floor nine again. <laughs> this is a pretty weird hobby when you think about it. Kinda. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Just kinda gravitated. All right, let's let's figure. Ouch. Seven. Ugh. Ah! So hard to dodge. Already dying. TVs are literally the worst. You wanna give a little more gap between those? Die, please! Jeez. Alright. Hmm. Doesn't even look freezer burned. It looks fresh. Handmade, even. Uh. But I am not supposed to. Ice cream's like the best way to gain weight. That and rice. I love rice. Me personally, I'm not like saying he loves rice. I love rice. <laughs> More for me, then. It can be our secret. Huh. I wish my agent has an app that tracks my vitals. Hmm. And she can fire me if I gain even two pounds, so no such thing as an ice cream secret. But that's okay. I'll keep an eye out for the for other secrets we can share. Hmm. He smiles slightly at some unspoken thought. For now, we have work to do. I guess I didn't really say the correct, correct thing. Um, I think this way was the... Escalator? Escalator, escalator, escalator! Eels. Die, please! Gosh, 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 gosh. You're a difficult... Ha 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 ha! You're stuck. 
<laughs> Sucks to be you. I hate projectile enemies! Ah. <laughs> yes, they have. I prefer to be the one with projectile weapons. I prefer projectiles over swords. But you can't really say that in this game. <laughs> Trying to heal. I need the bobas. I haven't had boba in a while. I prefer the popping pearls over the actual like boba balls. Jeez, I'm gonna die again. Oh, I keep forgetting I have these. <laughs> Darn. Well, at least we maxed him out. And we leveled up. Not by much. <gasps> Any messages? Oh. How about a movie? What kind of movie? I could go for horror action. I love horror! Yeah, okay. <laughs> How about we see the dunge? It's a showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. Okay, let's go. There's only one answer. Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan club. <laughs> We're not even friends. She doesn't like me. Olivia. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the theater. Date and shop. Go. Oh. oh, okay. I was like, how do you pick between the two? Let's go. You and Seven find your seats and the movie starts. The film features a group of teens lost in a darker, bloodier dungeon than you've ever seen. <laughs> Yeesh. And none of them can turn into swords? Bad strategy, kids. The monster kills most of the annoying teens first. Before long, the sidekick dies and Seven frowns. Eventually, all of one of the teens dies horribly, and the survivor narrowly escapes. Classic horror. The light comes up, and you leave the theater. Aw, oh, man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. Hmm. What did you think? Uh, I like spending time with you. <laughs> um. Uh, I like more realism. <laughs> Well, you knew it wasn't a documentary. <laughs> I feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. I should have crafted something first. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what I wanted. Paralysis. Ah, you! You have your own stalker. <gasps> We're stalk buddies! <laughs> oh, wow, hi guys, I totally didn't know you'd be here. Haha, <laughs> haha! Seven makes a face as if pleading silently for rescue. Okay, bye, Olivia. You hadn't... I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. A lock of my hair. Seven, I wrote this personal letter. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Fans are important to me. Uh-huh. Er, no. That is... Sorry, can you deliver it for me? Seven blinks. It's for Sung Woo. My ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me, pretty, pretty please? He stares at her for several seconds. Rude! Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Seven walks away. Huh? Wow, fame sure has gone to his head, huh? No! That's. Don't, don't get mad at him for you being a creep and trying to get him to deliver some love letter when you don't even, like, approach him first and say, like, hey, you know, I love your music. I love you. You know you're you're a great part of the group. You should have like given him something too, or made something for the whole group, because then that that's just. <sighs> <laughs> you hurt his feelings. <laughs> Olivia is holding an envelope. Sungwoo is written on it with hearts for O's. 
I'll just have to figure out where Sun Wu's staying, I guess. That's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it either. Just a lock of my hair. Hmm. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. You head home. Oh no, I understand. Crazy. I have my own stacker, like I mentioned before. <laughs> Had to go. Sorry, talk to you later. You ruined my chances, Olivia. You creep. Oh, let's see if we can craft anything. I want the bowl of hat. I want it. Uh, uh, uh. I guess I can make that. Ooh. Equip from your sign shelf and get a new dungeon ability. But what do it do? Oh, puts monsters to sleep. A warm cup of tea in the form of a sign. I like the explosions though, but I might need that more. Uh, I just want to buy some materials. I need to buy cloth. Lots of cloth. Ah! Okay. I think I needed three of those. And then... Blaster... And still no new clothes. Okay, bye! God, you're creepy. Okay. Fashion. What does that do? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder what the fashion one does. I'm really, really curious. I need two glues. I'm gonna need to buy four more cloths for that. Yes. Is that... Some angles it looks more like a, you know, milady type of hat. <laughs> Bam. Look at that. We're part of the Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> um, I'm feeling kind of weebish. Oop. <gasps> so cute. So cute. <laughs> oh, we're so cute. Um, I really know- I, wa I really want to know what it does, so I'm gonna go... One glue, four cloth. Let's see if we can afford that. <laughs> I'm too curious, too curious. Urgh. Okay, so one of those. And then... There we go. And now we're poor again! Bye! Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. She's like, why'd you come here twice? <laughs> Alright. Fashion's eye. All right, let's figure out what it does. Learn how to be fashionable on a budget. Creates a decoy. Oh, that actually might be more helpful. How long does a decoy last? I'm gonna try that. We'll try that one. I'm curious about the sleepy time one, too. Hmm. I'll miss you, explosions. But we'll try the, this one. Okay. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. And we'll pick up again back in the dungeon. We'll try to raise Sunder. Because I think he's the only one, aside from the new people, that aren't at, like, rank 3. And I wonder what gift he'll give us. Probably something weird. <laughs> But, and probably a hat. Maybe it'll be a nurse's hat. As, you know, he's like in the blood and stuff. <laughs> but, um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I post. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!